What is up, YouTube? All right, I'm out in the garage today hanging out. Uh, I was gonna take the old Turbo S up to the mountains. Uh, it's that time of the year. The mountains are uh, are getting getting uh, clear, so no more drifts. Um, super excited. I want to go up to the river uh, with the Turbo S, which would be really fun. And I pulled it out of the trailer. Oh, look, we're getting a little bit of a little bit of rain. I was gonna take this. I actually went. I've been one time, so they are clear. They're ready to go. I took the uh, the Can Am because. I ended up taking the old Can-Am uh, up there to go clear trail because the Polaris, when I pulled it out of the trailer, had a flat. So I thought today, I'll show you my setup uh, on the Can-Am real quick. I thought today we would just do a quick plug on the flat and kind of show everybody how to do it. I'm assuming most people know how to do it, but there's a few guys out there that didn't, but pretty sick. Got the tool kit, got my saw to go clear trail. Pretty awesome, it was, it was fun. But I uh, got some videos coming from that. But let's get back to the old Turbo S. Um, this wasn't the tire's fault, by the way. The ITP tires have been really good. Uh, somehow I picked up a screw. So, uh, perfect type of puncture that you can fix with a plug. So everybody should have a plug kit um, on your machine. You know, that's... You got tire wheel and belt and battery problems that you could have on the trail that would just be, you know, they'd be catastrophic. You've got to have tools to fix that stuff. That's why that is in my toolkit. Anyway, it's pretty easy. I've even had holes, you know, on the sidewall, which you're not necessarily supposed to use a plug, where I've stuffed three plugs in to get it home. And it, they just work. Plugs are pretty amazing. If you want, when you get back, you can throw a patch on the inside, but I've never really had to worry about it. But anyways, picked up a screw. I'm just going to go through the process um, of what to do and to fix it and how easy it is. Like I said, I'm assuming most of you guys have used a plug, but I know there's a few guys out there that probably haven't. So, hey, I got an opportunity to make a little, little YouTube video on plugging a tire, so we'll do it. The ITP tires have been badass. The Turbo S has been badass. Really enjoyed the, uh, being able to use this machine over the last little while. It's been fun. So I'm excited to get it up in the hills and uh, go for some rides. So. Let me get this set up on my uh, tripod and then we'll fix the hole. All right, be right back, guys. All right, guys, let's fix this flat. So in a plug kit, you're gonna have a tool to kind of make the hole the right size for the plug. You're gonna have the tool that puts the plug in the tire, and then you're gonna have basically your tire slash plug material. Um, this one is a screw, so I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew it. So, pretty simple. Sometimes these can be a little bit of a, of a B, but you're gonna have to make the hole a little bigger for the plug. Doesn't matter if there's a tire pressure in there or not, you just work it in and out a little bit. Gotta have plugs on the trail, man. I don't know how many times I've... These things are just lifesavers. Okay, so that's basically it. Get the plug kind of centered in there. This is kind of, it's kind of a B to push in, but hopefully it'll go in. If not, I'll have to create some more space. Push it down in about, uh, about that way. We'll trim it, and then when you pull the plug out, you just want to do it fast. So, yeah, just pull it right out. There you go. 
she's fixed. So go ahead and grab some tools, we'll trim that. Leave some, but you don't need too much. Take the blade and probably leave that in. Anyways, there you go. It should work. I'll get it back. I'll get the tire pressure back up, but plugs are awesome. You gotta have plugs on the trail. All right, guys, that's how to plug a tire. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Got lots of cool videos coming up. Pretty excited for this summer and spring. Already, I'm already making preparations for Baja. Everybody's getting ready for Baja. Um, but anyways, guys, I hit uh, I hit 7,000 subscribers and 3 million views on YouTube. Uh, I want to tell everybody thanks. It was awesome. Uh, appreciate everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.